y'all, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for giving me a small portion of your day. I thought I would share with y'all a power hour clean with me. It's probably gonna be more like a power hour and a half, but my house is just kind of a disaster. I have somewhere I have to be this afternoon, so I thought I would try and get as much done as I possibly could. So, um, Ben has actually been on vacation this week, so we've been out of the house and doing a lot of different activities and stuff like that because we're trying to squeeze in everything that one would typically do in the summer because Ben is going to be on business travel for the vast majority of the summer. So we're also trying to get ready to leave and all of that. So our house is just kind of fallen apart. I have recycling that I need to take to my car because I haven't taken it in several days. I have just general chaos that I need to get under control. So that's what we're gonna tackle today. And I will show you all my list and then we'll get on into the cleaning. Okay, so as far as my list goes, here's what I have. I have full laundry, tidy kitchen, take out recycling, tidy downstairs, like pick up the toy area, and then lay down a, lay down the rug. I actually bought a ruggable rug, not sponsored, I bought it myself, um, to go downstairs in our play area, so I need to lay that down, and then also tidy my living room. So those are very broad tasks, but there's a lot that needs to get accomplished in all of those spaces. So I will also say my living room is not going to look perfect because Ben was gone at the beginning of this week. He was out doing a canyoneering trip. So a lot of his stuff is still sitting in my living room and he is not here right now. He and Liam are out hiking. So I won't be able to deal with that, but I'm gonna do as much as I can in the next hour, hour and a half. So let's get into it. So I'm starting my power hour, hour and 15 minutes with laundry. Whenever I do something like this, I always try to start with laundry just because then I'm multitasking. Instead of, you know, starting a load of laundry and doing that in the middle of my routine, I can do this at the beginning, which then, you know, obviously it's running while I'm doing everything else that I need to do. I do want to take a minute to explain my videos for now. So I have a backlog of videos that I filmed that I never uploaded. This is one of them. I filmed this back in, I believe, May and um, it's now July. So you guys are going to be seeing a backlog of videos coming out here pretty soon. I'm working on getting them edited and everything. So just so you know, that's why if you see me at different stages of pregnancy across the next month or so, that's why. <laughs> So I've moved on to my living room. As I mentioned, that was one of the things that was on my list to tackle. So I'm just folding the sheets that are on here and trying to take care of the general chaos that exists. I will say my living room is chaotic pretty much all of the time, given that, you know, I have a toddler and he plays in the living room. So there's stuff all over the place pretty much all the time, but that's okay. <laughs> Folding these diapers really quickly and getting the laundry rack put away. I hang our diaper covers to dry. I didn't used to, but I started doing that and I think it's helping them last better. So I plan on continuing that the whole time I cloth diaper. Now just tidying up the entryway, putting away extraneous pairs of shoes. Ben is really bad about leaving shoes here, but I'm not great about it either. I just am a lot better about picking up my shoes every so often and putting them away, vacuuming behind the boot tray because it was really, really dirty. And then I'm going to tidy up the rest of the shoes and run the vacuum. So moving downstairs now, putting things in this cabinet and then just trying to just get the general chaos under control. We're still absolutely loving the nugget. It was expensive, but I think it was highly, highly worth it. So we still get a lot of play out of it. And there are obviously toys all over the floor, but I will say this mess does not take me that long to clean up. It takes me no more than 10 minutes to pick all this stuff up. So I'm okay with there being 
a lot of toys down here. And then I'm going to run my vacuum because, as I mentioned, I have a ruggable rug that I'm gonna roll out here in just a minute. <laughs> Here's my ruggable rug. I am reading on how to put it together, quote unquote, because you kind of do, there is some assembly required. There's a mat you roll out. And the mat is very much like the prickly side of Velcro. Um, that's how I would describe it anyway. I believe I got the six by eight size. I don't exactly remember. I will link what I got in the size and everything in the description. But um, I it was pretty easy to put together. I have not washed it yet, but I thought that having a washable rug would be great for down here. We are planning on replacing all of our flooring probably in the next year with hard floors. So I wanted to have a soft, softer playing space. So can you see the pattern? It's Star Wars because I'm so nerdy. I had been looking at this rug for months and then it went on sale for May the 4th, so I bought it. So then now I'm breaking down the box to take it to rec the recycling since I know that I wanted to keep it. I didn't want to do that until I knew for sure that I was keeping it. And then I'm going to take the rest of the recycling out to my car and I'm going to deal with my island, which actually is not that bad. I had ordered Liam these pajamas from Sam's Club and I actually really, really like them. I can link them in the description as well, but I bought a set for me and then I also bought a set for my mom. Now I'm just tackling the mess over here with all of the various things from breakfast left out on the counter and doing the dishes, that kind of thing. of these last little hand wash dishes and that's where we're gonna wrap up. All right, well I have about five minutes left on my timer but I'm gonna go ahead and be done. Did I accomplish everything that I wanted to? No, but I kind of didn't think I would. But I got a lot done. I'm so much happier with how my house is looking. I still have some things I need to do obviously but I got most of what was on my list done except folding laundry so I can do that when I get home but I do need to get ready to go. I need to get some lunch and all of that. I'm really excited about the new rug. I think it came out really cute. So anyways, I hope this was motivating to you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram. I'll put my handle on the screen for y'all. It's also always linked in the description and I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.